I found Fine Art America through a friend of mine, Carol Kaiser, who's a wonderful artist um, from the Midwest. She lives in Chicago now. And um, she had told me about it and had been selling on it for many years. And uh, she's a photographer and a painter. And um, for me, it, it was perfect timing because I was sort of at the point um, to kind of go public in a little way. And so it was um, not having a gallery representing me or anything like that. It's been really helpful to have the internet and all of the, you know, everything that that can do for you. And, um, and the world kind of opens up and, and the world of artists become much smaller and you can communicate with so many people and it's really quite wonderful and helpful and inspiring. And when I'm lost, I can kind of scroll through and look at other people's work and have conversations with other artists at, you know, any time of day or night. And it's, it's really, it's a, it's a great thing. I think the, the whole process of painting for me, I started off when I was young wanting to be an artist um, studied with a great teacher all through high school. Um, but I come from a theatrical background and I also wanted to act in art school or drama school and it kind of came up the last minute and I was in a play and having such a good time. So I, I did, I stayed and I got into this conservatory and did, you know, theater and, and stuff. And I, I always missed, missed this, but I didn't have enough time to kind of focus on it or I always thought, well, I'd have to go back to school and start over. And um, so it kind of just came to me gradually. I had more and more time. I'd be on location shooting things and bored. And I was in Halifax, Nova Scotia, doing a movie one time and um, had a lot of downtime. And uh, I was taking a walk one day and I went into a museum and you know, I was sort of blown away and walked out and there was an art store down the block. And I just had that thought of like, you know, let me just get some pencils and and then that was maybe, I don't know, nine years ago or so. And and it kind of blossomed from there. And I got into the habit of drawing every day. And then I wanted to find a teacher. So I found this great teacher, Rebecca Kimmel, who runs a art school in L.A., Corpus. And uh, it kind of started at the beginning and just said, OK, I'm going to devote, you know, a year and a half, two years and just go back to the beginning and draw and, and um, master copies and, you know, the atelier sort of um, idea. And then, um, and then started painting and, you know, charcoal work and then painting and, and it, um, it's kind of taken over like <laughs> my life. <laughs>
to stand alone and be, you know, this is a, this is a painting and I'm going to show it in a museum. I kind of thought of the whole piece and all 30 together. So, um, yeah, it was, it was very challenging and I felt really good when it was over. <laughs> like, okay, I've accomplished something. So, um, and then it kind of blossomed from there in one sense. Like I had a, uh, submitted them to a baseball show in uh, Hoboken. It was fun and when I started doing a lot of my paintings I would just do them for other people. Like I did a lot of baseball ones but they were all well this is for this coach or this is for the school or this is for um, you know various people who are involved with it and then um, you know it just kind of blossomed from there and then people would want them and then I wanted to try to show all 30 but they took in one this one show I'm in out east they, they did take uh, six of them and so that's kind of fun like to see see it sort of evolve. yeah evolve into that coming from it from another profession um, obviously it's still in the arts it's like I'm not a left brain kind of person obviously um, and didn't come from that, but it's uh, it's really nice when you can find the same kind of fulfillment in a different medium, but you're still sort of creating something with a blank slate at the beginning. And that, to me, is the challenge of you know that that makes everything worthwhile to me. It's scary and um, you know so daunting, and yet it's so fulfilling at the end. Um, and it's also nice to have people around you who are supportive <laughs> and even when it's not good, um, encourage you on and my family's been great and, and a lot of it started because I would post things on Facebook and I was terrified to do that but, um, you know, people are kinder than you sort of give them credit for and then to all of a sudden when you start getting um, feedback, uh, you know, it's it's so helpful. So you're not living in a vacuum and you're not creating in a vacuum. And that's part of the reason I love Fine Art America and what we were talking about, everything online and having this vast sort of community of other artists to draw from. And it's been really helpful. So, but having a different profession and then um, I had to take a break just because I was traveling too much and it's something I, could, I, I can do at home and, and it's great. And I found other people who are like-minded and it's, um, it's fun. The guy that curated the, the baseball show that I'm in, um, he's a stockbroker. I mean, there, you know, there's, but he's sort of started the same way and, you know, has kids and a busy full life and carves out time when he has it in the evening and he's created some amazing work. And so uh, it's, it's, it's been fun and inspiring to do that and to meet other people who've done the same. I have like all of these great like low cost. I basically did this whole studio for about, oh, I don't know, maybe under $100. And the easel I got at Blick one day, it was, it was on sale. It was on sale because yeah. the top was broken yeah. off. But I just built this from another piece. So I got this for 20 bucks. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's like wow. things like that. Like I got these cabinets at a garage sale for $5. You know, you can find stuff like having a you know in fact the guy who curated the baseball show that I was in he's actually a um well, I don't know if do you, is this good like oh, is that what you want oh okay yeah I was just watching the comeback have you ever seen that show with Lisa Kudrow on HBO it's so funny but it's like she's doing a reality show and so she'll when she realizes that she doesn't want something she goes okay Jane can we just time out time out I, I made a mistake